Okay, so um, this is my channel, Q Man Bassin. Uh, went fishing on Fort Gibson Lake and kind of had a little bit of a rough time. It was pretty windy. Uh, got better audio than what I thought I was going to, but um, caught my one bass on a Sanko. Uh, caught the sand bass on a spinnerbait, and then I lost another small bass on a spinnerbait. But uh, right now, the Fort Gibson Lake is kind of high. It's actually like four foot high, I think. And I think two weeks ago, it was like eight, ten foot high. So, kind of makes it a little rough to fish when it's like that. Um, not really sure. I'm pretty sure the fish were out a little bit deeper. Um, that's why I was fishing the deeper wood and rock and stuff. Uh... I was fishing like brush and about four foot of water and then um, I had a whole lot of bites it was just kind of a kind of hit or miss day but I was practicing for a tournament just trying to see what the different ends of the lakes look like and I got to run all the way to the up the creek and I'm gonna go back in a couple days and run all the way up the other creek and then I'm gonna run all the way down to the dam and see what that looks like but uh thanks for clicking on the video uh please like and subscribe and i'll catch you later so it kind of depends on kind of like with me it's just off and on with classes There's one. No. Sand bass. We open my ball. There's no water in it. I'll have to open up the deal for him. Yeah. Yeah. No, I get him. Yep. We gonna keep him. What, two and a half?
He's about two pounds. Little fat guy. Parallel trail motor, I can see better that way. Not a clue. Yeah. I just want to make sure no one's in it. I mean, we can tell them. I don't know, it's been there a while. I would say it's been there quite a while, but cause I don't even see how you'd get it down here with all the trees. <laughs> 